For more on skin cancer awareness and what you need to know, I'm joined by Dr. Tanya Bowles from Intermountain Medical Center. And this is the time really to remind folks of skin care. Uh, let's talk about, in Utah, we have a high rate of skin cancer cases. We do, we're among the highest in the nation, and that's probably a combination of we have a lot of fair-skinned people in Utah. We're at elevation, and we like to be outdoors doing activities. Mm -hmm. And really, all year round, we have to be careful because the skiers, we remind them, and, and the patrollers out there. Um, what are some preventative measures we can take? Yep. The key point here is that most skin cancers are preventable. So we need to limit how much sun we get, and a combination of factors work best. So using a sunscreen that has an SPF of 30 and putting it on every two hours mm -hmm. is our first defense. And then also using s s clothing that protects us and wearing sunglasses and seeking the shade when we can. All of those things together help us prevent skin cancer. And one thing moving here, I wear my hat a lot more often mm -hmm. and seeking shade too. Absolutely. Um, what are some of the um, forms of of treatment that we can mm -hmm. talk about. For early skin cancers, they can be removed sometimes with very minimal, small surgeries or even some non-surgical treatments. But the more dangerous skin cancers like melanoma always need to be removed with surgery and sometimes more invasive surgeries, even checking lymph nodes if those melanomas are more advanced. So we're trying to prevent melanoma as the dangerous skin cancer and trying to catch other skin cancers as early as possible. And when you talk about looking for interesting marks on your skin is it just for older people young people everyone in between everyone in between skin cancer though is most common as we get to age 60 and older but we treat skin cancers on everyone from children to elderly people so the important point there is to be watching your skin for change so skin cancers change over time some of them are red some are brown or dark moles but they all change over time either in their size or they grow off the skin or the border of them gets more irregular so no matter what your age or your skin type if you have a spot that's changing, it needs to be checked. And can you tell folks what exactly are we looking for on our skin? You said mm -hmm. different shades of, of brown or mm -hmm. black or red. Mm -hmm. um, where can they be? Can they be anywhere in the body? They can, although most of the skin cancers we see are in sun-exposed sites. So on men, the most common location for a melanoma is their back. For women, it's the legs because women show their legs more and get more sun on their legs. The head and neck region is also an area for men that's very high risk on the top of the scalp or on the ears or face. Um, but any part of the body that has seen sun can get a skin cancer and there's a rare type of skin cancer that even comes where the sun doesn't shine. So mm. keeping an eye on all of your skin and having your doctor check you is important. Is there any pain associated with these spots? Usually not. They're usually painless changes in either a mole or a red or pink spot on the skin. And the biggest key for folks um, who are listening right now, when should they go see a doctor? Really, uh, starting at about age 18, most people should have a yearly skin check, whether that's by the regular doctor or by a dermatologist. If there's any family history of skin cancer, that's especially important to be seen on a regular basis. All right, thank you so much. Good advice from Intermountain Medical Center. Thank you again thank you. for more information. You can go to their website, and we also have a link on ours at goodforutah.com. We will be right back.